Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog ourearlyhouse.com and in this cook with me video, I'm going to share with you seven different healthy from scratch dinner ideas. On the first night, we had fried chicken with some homemade mashed potatoes and corn. This is such a comfort meal, and I'm not really even sure what inspired me to make fried chicken, but I decided that just on a whim, we were gonna have a really good dinner. So I fried my chicken in coconut oil. So you see here, I'm putting a ton of oil in my cast iron skillet, and then I made a batter with some buttermilk and some hot sauce just to spice it up a bit. I added in some spices and then I just drug my chicken through the buttermilk and hot sauce and then dipped it in some flour and then I fried it up in my coconut oil and my cast iron skillet. On the next night, I made some sloppy joes with some sweet potatoes, broccoli, and a salad. So I started off by dicing up some sweet potatoes and onions, and I just fried these in some coconut oil in my cast iron skillet.
Once I got the potatoes going, I added some meat to my other skillet to make the sloppy joes. I decided to make a big batch of this in hopes that we would have some leftovers for the next couple of days. I made my own sloppy joe sauce with some ketchup, some coconut aminos, some coconut sugar, some spices, and a little bit of mustard. When the meat was brown, I just add the sauce to the ground meat and stirred it all in to make some sloppy joes. I served this with salad and some roasted broccoli and the sweet potatoes. we had a Southwest chicken salad. I just started off by adding a little bit of avocado oil to my cast iron skillet and pan searing my chicken. Once it was almost finished cooking, I added in some spices and diced up the chicken. For the salad, I just did a bed of mixed greens, some shredded carrots and sliced avocado, and some fresh cheddar cheese. For the next meal, we had some pork chops and potatoes. I did the pork chops inside just by pan searing them in my cast iron skillet and adding some salt and pepper to them. While the steaks were cooking, I made up a little sauce, some oil of coconut aminos and some spices that I poured over top of the pork chops. chopped up some new potatoes and fried those in some coconut oil in my cast iron skillet to serve with the pork chops.
The next meal we had steak and spaghetti squash. I melted some butter and poured that in my cast iron skillet to sear the steaks in. I also sauteed up some onions with this to give the steak some more flavor. For the spaghetti squash, I just cut it in half, scooped out all the seeds and the inside, then I drizzled it with a little avocado oil, sprinkled it with some salt and pepper, and baked these in the oven for about an hour. The next night I made some chicken and sweet potato fries. So I just started off by putting my whole chicken in the cast iron skillet and then I diced up some vegetables to put around it, drizzled it with some avocado oil, sprinkled it with a little bit of spices, and then I baked it for about an hour at 375. This is a super easy meal to make. It's really healthy and it only takes one dish, which I love because that makes cleanup really easy.
For the last meal, we had some salmon and rice. We had no meat in the refrigerator defrosting, so we found some canned salmon and made do with what we had. So my husband actually made this meal. He started off by getting the rice going, and then he sauteed some onions in the cast iron skillet. were soft he added in some frozen spinach and broccoli added some spices and stirred it up then he added in the can of salmon added in some coconut aminos and served it all over some rice Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some new meal inspiration.